This is New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runner's Alley. We're here at Cobrown for the Merrimack Valley Cobrown Dual Meet. This is the boys' start. Uh, we have multiple waves in this start. The girls' race, we only saw one wave, as there was less than the maximum 30 runners in the race. This start line um, being allowed to host 30 runners at a time. So here we have the second wave of runners coming through. And we'll catch up with them about three quarters of a mile in. All right, we're at top of the first little hill here. Cobra Angle going one, two. Good job, keep your eyes on Gavin. Got some, uh, some pretty good packs here. A little bit tighter than the girls' race was. No clear front runners, like we saw in Cox and Reynolds. We're at about 3:30 right now. Good job, guys. That's a good pair. Keep running. Keep running. Keep working. It's a little bit over a half mile into the race at this point. Have this slight uphill and then a flat before a long downhill to the one mile. Should see some pretty good racing here. Looks like everybody's nice and tight. Uh, quite a few more runners than we saw in the girls' race. We have about 40 runners in this race. Pretty good size for only a dual meet. Cobrown with uh, quite a few more runners than Merrimack Valley, which is why you saw the second wave was all Cobrown runners. Um, so it was 15 and 15 in the first wave. As I said, the start line accommodates 30 people. So as they head towards the one mile, uh, we'll catch them right at the top of the first big hill in this course. First real challenge they'll face just after the one mile mark. Uh, and we'll see them come through there in just a second. All right, here we are just after the one mile mark. Great job, buddy, great job. Got about 6.30 right now. Excellent. There you go, Gavin. There you go. Gavin DeMoss with Cobra Brown in first. Work together, boys. Work together. So this is uh, the first big hill on this course. Uh, they'll run this hill twice, once uh, right now, and then again uh, at the beginning of the third mile. Uh, the third mile, they'll continue up further on the hill. Uh, so it's a little bit harder the second time around, especially since you're tired at that point, getting towards the end of the race. Um, but even at the beginning of the race, this hill is still pretty tough. It's definitely going to spread this race out. They were a little bit closer the first time we saw them. Pretty good weather for running right now. It's like low 70s. Uh, clouded over a little bit. Although we are in the woods, so probably wouldn't have made too much of a difference. Got a nice big pack right here. Some close racing. Zach, that's your race right there. See how that shakes out towards the towards the finish. I was a little bit windier earlier, but um, once again we are in the woods, so probably wouldn't make too much of a difference. It's a pretty enclosed course, mostly in the woods. Um, not really affected by wind or sun too much. It's a little bit dusty in here, although they did spray the course with water um, the last couple days to try to keep the dust down for these, uh, these runners that have to run through after the lead pack. Overall, just uh, pretty exciting to have cross country back again this year, despite obviously all of the uh, the challenges with putting meats on right now.
uh, but we're still racing, so pretty exciting, pretty pretty awesome to have that. Give these kids the opportunity to race. So we will catch you again right uh, before the 3K mark, just before the big downhill. See how things are shaping up at that point. This is Cobra Brown's second round here, Merrimack Valley's first. It's uh, Ethan Dunhoff for Merrimack Valley and Tyler Rose for Cobra Brown. Saw Gavin Damas go by earlier. Got a little bit of a lead, not unreachable at this point. Still another big downhill, another big uphill. So uh, a lot can change, but he's got a decent lead over the rest of the pack. There's three more Co Brown. Should help their team score. MV second. Right now we're uh, a little bit before the 3k mark. We're at about 1140 at this point in the race. Once they go through the two mile they have a long downhill. Uh, they can kind of recover uh, but still run pretty fast on that downhill and then they have the longest uphill of the course coming up towards the single track. Uh, pretty long, challenging, steady uphill. And then once they hit the top of that hill, it's mostly flat from there on. A little bit of ups and downs in the single track section, but uh, nothing compared to the rest of the course. And then they finish on the track, which is nice and flat. Uh, makes for some good finishes. See a lot of these runners uh, kind of pairing up, running in packs, which is always good to see. Really helpful in cross country to run uh, with your teammates or even your competitors. If you if you got someone with you, it kind of helps motivate you. you run a little bit faster than you would by yourself. So that's good to see. This race is a little bit more spread out than it was the last time we saw them. Just to be expected with all these hills. It really helps kind of shake things up. Big co Brown pack running together. Good to see. Coach Tangway flying by in the background there. Maybe he should be in the race. Finish. I, I just gotta race them there. I just gotta race them there. Gavin Moss heading into the single track section. Just got that last little single track section before coming out onto the track. So we will catch him at the finish line.